Okay, friends, time for our second story of this week. Our story for this week is how do dinosaurs go to school? So remember, we're thinking about main idea. What does the author want me to know? All right, I love this story. This story is a lot of fun because when you think about it, do dinosaurs really go to school? No, they don't. But let's see what happens when this dinosaur goes to school. How does a dinosaur go to school? Does he walk? Does he ride in a busy carpool? Does he drag his long tail? Is he late for the bus? Does he stomp all four feet? Does he make a big fuss? When he gets to the school, does he rough house and punch? Does he make a quick grab for a classmate's packed lunch? Oh, it sounds like that dinosaur is not being very kind. Does he race up the stairs right ahead of the bell? Uh-oh, is he being safe if he's running upstairs? No, he's not. Does he interrupt class with his own show and tell? We gotta learn to take turns. Does a dinosaur yell? Why do you think he's yelling? If you say it's because he lost a tooth, you are correct. He's excited, but we shouldn't yell in class. And when in the classroom, plunked down in his chair, does a dinosaur fidget his tail in the air? Man, it looks like all these dinosaurs are doing things we should not be doing in class. Does he like to growl during chalk talks or roar and out of turn? Mm -mm -mm. He's using his hand. I know some of you who do that, you're like, Mrs. Hutchinson, I can see your hand, okay? So you raise your hand. And I like how it has our sight word for this week, the word like. Does he make it too hard for the others to learn? Ooh, look at that, it looks like he's playing instruments and he's being distracting to the other classmates. Does he stir up the classroom by making a noise? Oh, it looks like he's making some funny noises with his mouth. It's not very nice. How do you think the teacher feels? Yeah, I don't think she's very happy. Does he tease all the girls? Does he pick on the boys? No. A dinosaur carefully raises his hand. He helps out his classmates with projects they've planned. At recess, he plays with a number of friends and growls at the bullies till bullying ends. Well, that's making good choices. He tidies his desk. Then he leaps out the door. Good work, good work, little dinosaur. All right, good job. All right, so now we're gonna look at our chart here. Here we have what's called a main idea web. And in our main idea web, we have what the main idea is about. And that's dinosaur at school. So I want you to think of four good choices that our dinosaur made. So when I think of one, I know that one good choice he made was he raises his hand. So we'll say raises hand, okay? What's another good one? Well, I know that he was playing with other classmates so that means he was playing nicely. So we'll say plays nice. All right, and then we're gonna do two more. So what else was he doing? Oh, I know, when he would make a mess, he would clean up. All right, so we have three details about dinosaur making good choices raises his hand, he plays nicely, he 
cleans up. And then what's our last one? Hmm. Well, that's what I want you to figure out. So make sure you, I go back in the video of the story. If not, maybe you can remember what our last one would be. All right? All right, class. Go do your work.